A friend of mine asked me what I want to do with my life. I said, well, um, I want to be number one in the world. And he said to me, you know there's only one person that's number one in the world, and the chances of you doing that are almost impossible. And I thought he was crazy, but it occurred to me at seven, I might actually fail at this. But I won three Grand Slams to the age of 29 and became number one. And now I find myself in the finals of the US Open. And I lost that day, and I remember uh, questioning what this is all about. 26 and 0, you lose a match and you feel like a loser. I don't think I've ever been so disconnected with the sport than, or, or so uh, disappointed by the sport than I was that day. And that match really sent me into a two-year tailspin. I uh, proactively left the game mentally, just checked out. I felt 141 in the world. I've never liked myself so little. I've never hated tennis so much in that moment. And I, at that moment, I said to myself, what if now? for the first time, I choose it. What now if I play tennis, not for the pressures of, of life, not because I have to, but because I find a reason to. Being so determined to move forward again doesn't happen because you're, you got the skill. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't happen because you're focused on being number one. You can't be. I mean, it's so much harder the second time. It's not easy to be number one in the world at anything the first time. But it's so much harder the second time because unlike the first time, it's not just a bad day that you have to get past. It's a day where you're clearly aware of where you're not. So the amount of discouragement that can happen on this journey when you feel certain ways and the result of feeling those ways, you can look ahead almost like a crystal ball and know what you're in for. It's the proudest thing in my career, in my opinion, was staying true to that character day after day. It was always about, can I be better than I am now? Can tomorrow be more hopeful than today? And every day that I could say yes to that was a day worth fighting for. I won three Grand Slams to the age of 29 then won five more afterwards. But more importantly than just the wins and losses, I knew what I was doing and why I was doing it. And it gave me a chance to love the sport during a time when I was actually playing it.